Hello everyone, this is the Sexy Knob, a smart dial that helps you control your Tesla. Let me show you what's inside the box and how to set it up. When you open our beautiful box, you're greeted with the OLED display of the knob, which will show you all the features that you configure through your app. And next to it is the commander, which acts as a brain of the knob and controls the car. You can see the installation videos in our channel for the front and the rear installation, depending on your car. So let's put this aside and show you what's also in the box underneath. So here you can see some additional stickers. I will show you later what are they used for and some cables. So we have the USB-C cable, which is used to power up the knob and two more cables used for the commander. This one is for the front installation and the other one is for the rear installation, depending on your car. Again, you can see the installation videos in the description. Now let's power up the knob. You have to open the drawer and I personally like to put the USB cable in the car first and then to the knob. So you choose either one of the two USB-C that you have in your car. And then we have uh, two USB-C ports at the back of the knob. You should put the cable at the one that is marked with the car. It should immediately power up and greet you with the welcome screen. This means that you are good to place it in the console. Then you can close the drawer. Before installing the Commander, make sure to download the Sexy app from the description below and check if there are any pending updates of the knob. So let's connect to the knob. It should find it automatically and immediately connects to it. Once connected, you should go to the settings, firmware update and then press update. It will take a while, but when it's done, you are good to go to install the commander. And we are done. Now you are good to go to install the commander and make sure to update also its firmware if there are any pending ones. Once everything is connected and up to date, you can go ahead and customize the knob to your likings. Go to the knob settings, choose the page that you want to customize, choose the function and press save. This immediately changes the function on the, of the knob and by pressing the button you go inside the function then you can rotate which will activate the function. In this case I change the function to precondition the battery and as you can see it's currently working you can also see the battery temperature in the middle. With every new update we will be adding more and more features to the knob and eventually we will add all the features that the sexy buttons have to the knob. Soon we will add different settings for the knob behavior, like going back to the home screen. Currently you can go by pressing the knob down, but in the future we will also add an option to go back automatically. Even though there are four buttons around the knob, the knob itself acts as a button and you can press it to activate different features. By pressing the knob again, you go back to the home screen. However, if you add the autopilot feature in the middle, it acts as an autopilot hands-on and every press of the knob activates the autopilot hands-on. In order to go back to the home screen from the autopilot if you place in the center, make sure to long press the knob itself and you will see the home screen. We implemented a special feature to reboot the knob if you encounter any issues with it, just like your Tesla. Press any of the two buttons around the knob for three seconds and it will reboot. Remember there were stickers inside the box? Let me show you what are they for. So this one can be placed at the back of the knob in order to hide the cheesy surface that it has, but it's optional, so you don't have to do it. The others are meant to level the knob inside your central console. With our tests, we found out that different Teslas have different uh, deviations in the central console, and that's why we give you an option to lift the knob if it's needed to fit perfectly in your car. The best part is that you don't have to worry about turning off the knob. The knob display and the light inside the compartment turns off immediately after you leave the vehicle. Last but not least, let me tell you about the second USB port at the back of the knob. It was meant to be used for fast charging, but we found that it's not working with some of the phones and we had to turn off the display in order to not damage it. That's why you should not use it with fast charging devices like your phone, but you're good to go to charge your GoPro or AirPods. If by any chance you end up plugging a fast charging device, the display will turn off in order to protect it. Don't worry, everything is fine. 
unplug the device, then unplug also the powering USB of the knob, wait a couple of seconds and put it back in. It will work as normal. Okay guys, we are sure you love this product and we can't wait to see all your different configurations. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and watch our next videos where we will show you different use cases and much more. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.